The guy was hit, flew into my car, knocked my car back about six feet. And the other guy continued and he ended up uh, my front lawn. Destroying part of the fence, the two drivers who clipped each other had just sped around a roundabout. Homeowner Bill Troller says the traffic circle certainly did not slow them down. Doesn't seem too safe for me. But neighbors say this is about a lot more than just one broken fence. They say the traffic circles installed two years ago don't even do what the city intended them to do. The circles along Greeley Avenue were put in to slow down traffic in 2017 after a series of bad crashes three years ago and against the wishes of community members, including the local councilman, who wanted to see stop signs instead. Neighbors like Brian Wissert say they've effectively made turning onto the road more dangerous, and most importantly, cars continue to whip right around the roundabouts. Good, right here, look at this guy. But the, pro the problem is these, aren't, these are just causing more of a hazard. The city has slowly began using roundabouts more and more to calm traffic, including in the Bronx as well. In an open records request, the city DOT says the circles have reduced crashes by 27% along Greeley. Troller says he hasn't noticed a difference. People were out of control before the roundabouts. Three or four years ago, a police car took that same fence down. And he says they've continued speeding. On Staten Island, Henry Rossoff, PIX11 News.